Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you, teacher? How are you, guys? And you? Thank you for asking. How are you guys? I see Penny, Rita, Nuria, Veronica, Sergio, Christian, Jennifer, and Rocio. Excellent. All right, guys. Let's just wait for a few more minutes to wait for everyone. And today we are going to be reviewing places and things, guys. And also, after we review the vocabulary, we're going to be reviewing the prepositions of place so that we know how to talk about those places and things, right? Do you know some prepositions of place, guys? Hello. Yes, teacher. Excellent. So what are some examples of prepositions of place? What are some prepositions of place that you know? Oh. Okay, on. That's one. Excellent. What else? Under. Under, perfect, yes. What else? Next to. Next to, correct. Excellent. I see that you know the prepositions, excellent. Between. Between, correct, excellent. All right, guys, so we are nine people right now. 10, 10 people right now. We are 10 people right now, but it is eight with zero six minutes. So we are going to go ahead and get our class started because we have quite a lot of vocabulary to cover today. Tenemos bastante vocabulary para cubrir hoy. So let's go ahead and start with this one. I'm going to go ahead and make it big. Let's see. There we go. Excellent. Then we're going to screenshot it. Bring it here, bring it here, and zoom it in. There. Very well. That's better, right? Pueden ver mejor los nombres? Yes. Yes. Can you see the names of the places? Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Sergio. Perfect. All right. So we have eight different places in the regular real life setting, right? Lugares de la vida normal regular. So, for example, all right, we have the first one, which is bank have the first one, which is a bank, where you can go and get money, um, get a credit card, get a debit card, get a checking and a savings account. These are the two types of accounts that you can get at the bank, checking and savings. So this is la cuenta corriente y la cuenta de ahorros, checking and savings, right? What else can you do at the bank? What else can you do at the bank, guys? Pay bills. Pay, pay bills, correct, excellent. What else? Hmm. 
Maybe you can get a loan, un préstamo. Maybe you can get a loan for the mortgage of your house. El mortgage of the house is la hipoteca, hipoteca, mortgage. So you can get a loan for the mortgage, All right? You can get a checkings account, savings account. You can get a loan, you can pay bills. You can make payments of other things. You can get mortgage, mortgages. Excellent. Let's put it here or bank. And now, do you guys know what the drugstore is? Pharmacy. Correct. That's the uh, that's la farmacia, right? And what is the difference between a drugstore and the pharmacy? What's the different gu difference, guys? Eh, usted dijo la vez pasada que drugstore eran las que estaban en los hospitales, dentro de los hospitales o clínicas y la farmacia era, o al revés, la que estaba, al revés, la farmacia es la que estaba dentro de los hospitales o clínicas y el drugstore son las que están eh, fuera, ¿verdad? En la ciudad. Correct, yes, that's correct, pero eso solo es in the United States, eso solo es en los Estados Unidos, they're the same thing, son lo mismo. Drugstore and pharmacy, same thing. But uh, solo en Estados Unidos es eso, que la pharmacy is the one that's inside the hospital and drugstore, the one outside. For example, San Nicolás, Farmaval, right? Those are drugstores in the United States. In the rest of the world, en el resto del mundo, se les llama pharmacy, casi siempre a todas. Casi solo en Estados Unidos se les dice drugstore a las farmacias. So when you go to the drugstore or to the pharmacy, you can buy medications, you can get your prescriptions, you can refill your prescriptions, and you can also uh, buy other things, right? When you go to the drugstore, cuando ustedes van a la farmacia, pueden ver que pueden comprar otras cosas, right? You can buy, what, what else can you buy in a drugstore, guys? Uh, apart from medication. ¿Qué más se puede comprar en la drugstore, guys? Apart Vitamins. from medication. Vitamins, correct. What else? What else can you buy, guys? Syrup. Syrup, correct. Antacid. I'm sorry? Antacid? What is that? Oh, antiacid. El antiacid. Yes. Ah, correct, correct. Antiacids. Lo estábamos viendo ayer. Antiacid. Correct. Excellent. What else? What else, guys? Mm-hmm. Cold drops. Filter. Cold drops. So a uh, hat sunscreen, correct. Sunscreen. You can also buy some drinks. You can buy um eye drops. Eye drops, correct. You can buy eye drops. You can buy some snacks as well. You can buy many things. Excellent. Now guys, we also have more places. We also have the post office. What can you do in the post office? Send letters. Send letters, correct. In the post office, at the post office, you can send letters to other people, right? You can send letters. Excellent. And at the end, when you go to the gas station, you go and fill up your car, right? 
you the get gas. some gas. The gas station. You get some gas for your car. Some gasoline. It's usually called gas. Kasi solo gas, ladies and gas. And what can you do if you go to a restaurant? Eat. Eat, correct. What else? Waiters. Oh, there are waiters, correct. What else can you do apart from eating? You can hang out with friends, right? At the restaurant. You can have some coffee at a restaurant, right? And what about the bookstore? You can go to the bookstore to read. Uh, I'm sorry, to buy books. Yes. In a different way than the library. At the library, you can only read books or borrow books, but you cannot buy them. In the biblioteca, which is the library, you cannot buy the books, right? You can only read them or borrow them, and then you have to bring them back. Después hay que llevarlos de regreso. So that is the difference between the bookstore, la tienda de libros, and the library. In Espanol, it's biblioteca y librería, right? But in English, it is library for biblioteca and bookstore for bookshop, right? We also have a department store. ¿Alguien sabe qué es una department store? Un ejemplo de department store. ¿Qué podría ser un department store, guys? A department store is a store that has a lot of things within it. Como? Siman. Correct. Siman is a department store. It has many different sections within, dentro de, within one store. Excellent. Uh, what other examples are of department stores here? Can you give me another example of a department store apart from Siman? Walmart. Walmart, yeah, Walmart is like a department supermarket, right? It's a mega supermarket. Otro ejemplo de una department store podría ser Sears or Sanborns, ex Sanborns, because it doesn't exist anymore. And we also have the supermarket. What is an example of a supermarket, guys, that we have here? Super selectos. Correct. Ay, selectos. Oh my God, muted. Whoops. Okay, we're going to go ahead and mute it. Okay. Whoops, no problem. All right. So, yes, Selectos is an example of a supermarket, right? Where we buy our groceries. You can buy groceries at the supermarket. You can also buy, what else can you buy at the supermarket? Dentro de las groceries, todas las groceries es la despensa, right? So that includes bread, vegetables, milk, all the basics, cereal, but what else can you buy at the supermarket? ¿Qué más se puede comprar at the supermarket? Cosmetics? Correct, you can buy cosmetics, excellent. Perfect. All right, guys. So those are the examples that we have for places. We have bank, the drugstore, the post office, the gas station, the restaurant, the bookstore, the department store and supermarket. Of course, there are many other places, right? We have, for example, 
uh, we have car shops, we have uh, music shops, we have, um, let's see, craft stores, craft stores son las tiendas donde venden, como aquí las librerías que venden um, como, things for crafts, papers, um, things for decorating, etc. Those are craft stores. Vamos a verlo aquí. That it is a craft store. It is decorations, papers, stationery. Stationery significa, stationery es todo lo que sea relativo a un escritorio. So stationery, post-its, uh, pencils, pens, markers, colors, todo eso es stationery. All right. And also we can have, um, let's see, what else? What else can you find in the city? We also have gyms, right? Gyms where you go to work out. What else? What else can you find in the city, guys? What other places? Ferretería, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Tool store. Oh, uh, that's a, uh, yes, that's a craft, entra into the craft store as well. Pero sabemos que, see, we're talking about nails and nails, clavos and screws, tornillos. That is also a craft store or a heavy duty store. También. But that is mostly in the United States, que le dicen así. And the rest of the world, casi siempre van a encontrar, it can be heavy duty, craft store, or hardware store. Cualquiera de esos tres, you may find it as those. What else, guys? You can also find bakeries. For example, El Rosario, La Tecleña, bakeries. I'm sorry, bakeries. Or a bakery, right? One bakery. Where you can buy bread. Oh. Cakes. I'm sorry? Cakes. Cakes, correct. What else, guys? What else can you find in the city? Desert. What? Ice cream store. Ah, ice cream store. Excellent. And, oh, yeah, came a falta. Baked good. Excellent. Okay. Ice cream shop. Yes. You can buy ice cream, milkshakes, right? What else, guys? You can also find convenience stores. Que son esas tiendas que están en las gasolineras, right? Those are convenience stores. Gas station stores. You can also go to the farmer's market. Que son los mercados, como los conocemos aquí, right? The farmer's market, where you can buy fresh produce. Produce se refiere a produce, no produce, no produce de producir, sino produce. 
Y este produce se refiere a vegetables and fruits. Todo aquello que esté fresco, right? Vegetables and fruits. Now, not so much here, no tanto aquí, but in other countries, you can go to the laundromat. And the laundromat is where you would go to wash and dry your clothes. Why? Because, for example, in places like New York, en lugares como New York o Paris en Francia, where there are there's so much people, there's a ton of people. So houses are very small. Con el tiempo se han ido volviendo very, very, very small. To the point where some people live in rooms, for example, como en los mesones de aquí. So that means you don't have a, a washing machine in your house. You don't have a washing machine. No hay lavadora, no hay secadora. Allá no cuelgan la ropa, right? So they have to have a dryer. So uh, if you don't have a washing machine or a dryer in your house, because you don't have a house, you have a room, then you have to go to the laundromat. And then you take your clothes, you take your detergent, and you put it in the washing machine. You put the detergent, you wait until it's ready. Y cuando ya está lista, you take it out, you put it in the drying, in the dryer. Uh, you wait again hasta que esté lista de secarse. You take it out and then you go back home. Right? Excellent. So, estos son algunos de otros lugares que se pueden encontrar dentro de la city. ¿Qué, qué lugar no he mencionado y les gustaría saber, guys? Or should we move on? All right, that's okay. No problem. In that case, let's go ahead and let's look at prepositions of place. One moment, very well. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and read a conversation. So, who wants to volunteer to read the conversation? One gentleman and one gal, one lady. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. Repeat, Tisha, please. Of course. Who wants to volunteer to read? One gentleman and one lady. Uh, me, I, lady. I, Excellent. Who else? I heard a gentleman. ¿Quién se, quién se, quién se da de voluntario? I... Excellent. Okay, Christian and Rita. Perfect. All right. So obviously Christian will be the man and Rita will be the woman. So okay. go ahead, guys. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son is, needs a restroom. Well, there's there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much. Perfect. All right, so I want you to look at these words specifically. So let's review the conversation. K 
Can you help me? Uh, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. On Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of First and of, of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. Across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Excellent, guys. So, who can tell me, quien me puede decir, what does corner mean? If I say something's on the corner, what's corner? Esquina. Mm -hmm. Correct. Corner is esquina. esquina. Perfect. And if I say that something's across from the park, ¿qué estoy diciendo? Cruzar la calle. Frente, frente al parque. Al cruzar. Correct, correct. Al cruzar o frente al parque, al cruzar la calle de enfrente, right? Across from the park. For example, ahorita my computer is across this space from me, right? Excellent. So, y lo que también les quería decir es que veamos cómo dicen las calles. Main Street, First Avenue. So, something I have to do every day, y que se va quedando con el tiempo, is the fact that cuando ustedes vean una dirección, no la van a ver así, sino que la van a ver, for example, si alguien les dice, escrito, que something is on Main Street and First Avenue, les van a decir que está on Where is it? Here. Abreviado. Así como nosotros abreviamos colonia, right? Norte. That's the same thing. So, on Main Street, this stands for street and avenue. Avenue. There is also the word circle. Que es circle. Circle es porque allá hay muchas colonias que terminan en un redondel. Entonces, esas calles se llaman circle. So, circle. Um, we also have, let's see, highway. And this is highway, right? We have the freeway, which is the freeway. Also, let's see what else. Avenue, street, mm -mm -mm. road, and road, RD. Si ustedes ven esas abreviaciones, a eso es lo que se refiere. Main street, this stands for street. E avenue stands for, uh, I'm sorry, Av stands for avenue. Now, guys, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre highway y freeway? ¿Alguien sabe? Yes, no, yes, no. What do you think? El highway no son como las calles y el freeway es como la carretera. Close, close, close. Ahí vamos con la idea. Ok, so la highway, de hecho la highway es la carretera y la, el freeway es la autopista. So the closest thing, lo más cercano que nosotros tenemos a una freeway es la Monseñor, right? Lo más cercano, pero nada que ver, se lo digo. But um, es lo más cercano, para que tengan una idea, vienen un montón de calles de un montón de lados, así como las incorporaciones de la Monseñor y se meten a una sola calle súper grande de cuatro o cinco allá hasta ocho carriles. So, uh, that's a freeway. Y highway, la carretera, right? Carretera, carretera Panamericana, carretera de oro, etc. That is the difference, guys. 
y road. Y street son las calles normales. Street and road. Y las avenues, right? Avenues are typically smaller. Son usualmente smaller and narrower. ¿Alguien sabe qué es narrow, guys? Narrow. Si yo digo, the street is very narrow. Estrecha. Correct. Narrow stands for small, right? It's, the space is small. So if you park your car in a narrow street, another car won't be able to pass. Si parqueamos el carro en una calle muy estrecha, otro carro no va a poder pasar. So that's a narrow street or a narrow road. Right? Excellent, guys. Now, we also have many other things on the street. Tenemos street lights. ¿Qué son? What are street lights? Luce de la calle. Correct, that's the semáforo, the street light. Mm -hmm. wow. okay. Excellent. Al final es lo mismo, right? Son las luces que están en la calle. Excellent. Street lights. And also, a veces vemos que algunos carros andan esto. Handicap, parking the car. Handicap, parking the car is that thing that disabled people have. Correct. Excellent, Ale. Para mí es válidos. They have this thing that tells you to be careful because they are handicapped, right? They are disabled. Now, en, um, honestamente, no sé si el proceso es igual aquí, pero allá el seguro social te tiene que autorizar para andar un handicap parking the call y si ellos consideran o que te han amputado el brazo, si ellos consideran que you're not disabled, you're not disabled y no te lo dan y no te puedes parquear en esos lugares. No sé si es así aquí, but it's, it's rough. It's yuca, ¿verdad? Um, let's see what else. And you have street signs. Street signs son esos signs de stop, Penales. correct, Transito. stop, um, warning, cuando hay una construction, right, warning, construction site, warning, uh, uh, reparations on the road, etc. Todos los que ponen um, los del fobielito, and the street signs de alto y todas esas. Excellent. The, oh, las calles de allá son demasiado grandes a veces para poner um, los rótulos de seda el paso, right? So they usually put it on the streets, así como en las, igual que en, la, que en las calles grandes, allá como llegando multiplaza está en la calle, se da el paso, right? Ah, pues así. Solo que allá dicen así. Dicen beware. ¿Cómo es? Beware pedestrians. What do you think pedestrians are? ¿Qué son pedestrians, guys? ¿Qué se les I don't know. Si yo les digo, uh, I have to stop here because I have to let the pedestrians walk on the zebra path. Peatón. Peatón. Correct. Correct. Los pedestrians son los peatones. So the pedestrians have to walk on the zebra line or the zebra pass. Porque allá, siempre que uno llega a un paso de cebra, hay una señal de un stop. Alto. Un alto. Siempre. And hay que parar. It is mandatory that you have to stop. Aunque no venga nadie. Aunque no venga nadie. Uh -huh. no, ven na no viene nadie. Son las cuatro de la mañana. <laughs> you have to stop porque they're watching. 
They have cameras. Y si nos pasamos sin detenernos, they have cameras. And you Ulta. will see, yes, you will have a ticket. Ticket, el famoso ticket. On your record the next morning. En el mismo segundo lo ponen porque solo le ponen pop en una computadora. And then you have a ticket. Y no crean que es el de, el de, ¿cómo se llama? El de 3714. It's, it's like, uh, Easy, por barato, 60 dólares. Por poquito. So, yeah. Depending on the state. Las multas dependen del estado. So, yeah. You have to stop. Every time zebra pass o cruce en Y. I'm sorry, cruce. Cruz calle. Stop. Always. Si no importa, no viene nada. Si no, ticket. All right, guys. Teacher, what is the word? Beware, eh, al tanto, estate, eh, como estate atento. Beware pedestrians. Como atención, right? Atención. Okay. Excellent. Parecido a attention, right? A veces ponen attention, pedestrians. Beware pedestrians. O beware of. Estás pendiente de los um, peatones. Excellent question. Perfect, guys. Okay. Moving on. Here we see the prepositions of place. Como ustedes me decían, we have next to, between, on the corner of, on. Y estas son las que más usamos, right? Because we are talking about directions. Hablando de direcciones, we use this ones. Porque no vamos a estar dentro de la calle, right? Sino que estamos sobre la calle, on the street. So, let's read the examples. Can I please have Jennifer read the first one? The department store is on Main Street. Excellent, Jennifer. Thank you. Let's read this one, Ale. It's on the corner of Main and First. Excellent. Thank you. Now, let's read the next one, Rocio. Hello. It's the ground from the park. Thank you, Rocio. Perfect. Now, let's read the next one, Nestor. Hey, wasn't Nestor not going to be able to come to class today? Me parece haber leído. Mm -hmm. But I do see him here. Aquello de la, aquello de la attendance. I'm sorry. Vengo, vengo llegando casi y no me, hasta ahorita me pude conectar. Ah, es that's no, okay, no Nestor. No he estado muy al tanto de la, de la clase, disculpe. No problem. Si justo eso estábamos diciendo, no que Nestor había avisado que no iba a poder. Ay, thank you so much for joining. Okay, no problem. So please read this sentence, William. It's, ne it's next to the bank. Thank you, excellent. Now let's go with the next one, Denny. The bank is between the apartment store and the restaurant. Perfect, Denny, thank you so much. So guys, Veamos. Let's review. Vemos que tenemos between, y si vamos a usar between, estamos diciendo que algo está entre. Entre, correct. So, si está entre. entre, tiene que estar entre dos cosas, right? Así que siempre que usemos between, tenemos que usar and. Porque between what and what, right? Between my two fingers, so between this finger and this finger, right? Between the store and the restaurant. Between my house and the park. Right? Siempre. On the corner of. Siempre que digamos on the corner of. Porque en la, en la esquina siempre se encuentran o dos calles o una avenida y una calle o etcétera, etcétera. Right? So on the corner of y las dos calles que se encuentran. 
si estamos hablando de una calle, siempre vamos a decir on X Street, on Main Street, on California Street, on Rushmore Street, on Tedder Street. Aquí me acuerdo. Pero hay un montón. Um, y it's across from the park, right? Ya ustedes me lo dijeron, está al cruzar del parque, o al frente del parque, o al cruzar la calle. Perfect. ¿Qué significa si yo digo que it's next to the bank? Después del banco. Está junto al banco. O, o a la par. Correct. Después, a la par, junto al banco. Right? Todas esas correct. Después a la par o junto al banco. Después o antes, right? Depende de, dónde, de qué lado vengamos. But yeah, junto al banco, a la par del banco. Next to the bank. The store is next to the bank. The I am, si yo digo, I am next to the supermarket. Pick me up, I'm here next to the supermarket, right? Excellent, guys. ¿Hay alguna duda con estas prepositions of place? Do we understand the prepositions of place? ¿O hay alguna que tengan dudas sobre cómo ocupar? Uy, sorry. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Ya vamos a hacer ese exercise. Okay. Yeah, okay. What about this? Do we have any questions? Do you have any questions? Or is it clear? Awesome. Okay. I'm glad. What about the rest? Is everyone good? Is everyone clear? Yes? No? Yes. Yes. Cool. Cool. Yes, okay. Yes. Good. Awesome. Okay. Entonces, sí, let's do the exercise. Now. If I ask, for example, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Catherine. If I asked, uh, where is the department store? Um, is no. Um, Recordemos que podemos usar. Vamos, ¿qué vamos a usar con este ejercicio? Vamos a usar the corner of, corner of, next to, on, across. Between. So, uy, no se ve. Help me, help. I'm sorry. Uy. Help me, please. Okay. So, let's see. The department store is right here. This is the department store. So the department store, we know that this is the bank. Aquí está el banco. Here we have the First Avenue. And here we have Main Street. Main Street, I'm sorry. Main Street. And here we have a parking lot. So, uh, de qué manera me podría indicar a dónde está el department store que está aquí. So, we know que están todas estas cosas alrededor y que podemos ocupar the corner of, next to, on tal street, across of, between tal y tal cosa. ¿Cómo podríamos decirlo? No hay solo una manera correcta, hay muchas maneras de indicarlo. ¿Cómo lo indicaría usted? Is on the corner of the, the first avenue and the main street. Correct. Next to Citibank. 
Next to city back. Perfect. Vimos una otra referencia. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Now, let's see another example. Si yo pregunto, vamos a ver, ¿quién me puede ir diciendo? Si yo pregunto, where is the theater? It's right here. Where is the theater? A ver. It is uh -huh. in front of the park. Excellent. Across the park or in front of the park. Perfect. No es necesario que demos dos references, right? Podemos dar solo una. It's in front of the park, across from the park. Now, si yo pregunto, where is the shoe store? Este es the shoe store. It is across from the supermarket. Perfect. Across from the supermarket. Perfect. Excellent. Y si yo pregunto, where is the bookstore? Which is right here. The bookstore is on the corner of Center Street and second avenue perfect guys excellent excellent and if si yo pregunto where is dr the drugstore which is right here where is the drugstore is in the corner in the second Avenue and Center Street. Perfect, excellent. Y si yo lo quisiera decir usando in between. Between supermarket and bookstore. Perfect, excellent, love that. It's between the supermarket and the bookstore. Excellent, guys. Now. ¿Tenemos alguna duda en cómo ubicar estos lugares, cómo usar las prepositions of place? Or do you think you can locate something in a map ahora? Lo que yo les puedo recomendar como un buen exercise, ahorita vamos a hacer un reading. Uy, qué montón de checks. Ahorita vamos a hacer un reading, pero lo que yo les quisiera recomendar, guys, es que you can go to Google Maps. Podemos irnos a Google Maps. Y podemos buscar los mapas de porno que están en nuestra casa, right? Si se van a su teléfono en Google Maps y ven ahí, le dan zoom. Y buscan algunos lugares que tengan así lugares de referencia. Ustedes pueden practicar y decir, okay, so, for example, aquí por mi casa, let's see, for example, okay, so, the Universidad Evangélica is across from the, let's see, Universidad Evangélica is across from San Remo, which is a residencial, right? Y así, o puedo decir ahí arriba, okay, so, uh, The Texaco gas station is across from Wendy's. ¿Qué más? Subway is in between the gas station and the, um, and the coffee shop, right? Y así podemos ir practicando. Es un ejercicio que ustedes podrían hacer on your own. All right. So right now, vamos a ver si alguien nos pregunta. 
cómo podríamos llegar a algún lugar. Imagínense ustedes que ustedes saben que aquí viene mucho turista. So, for example, si, se, si les llega a preguntar a alguien de Estados Unidos o que solo hable inglés, ¿Cómo llegar, por ejemplo, a cualquier lugar turístico? Then you will be able to tell them, oh, you have to take this bus, right? Or you have to go to that street. You have to go across from that lugar, right? So let's see an example. Now for this example, can I please have Sergio be the tourist and Ale be the woman? Yes, vamos a ver si están mis dos seleccionados. Yes, no. Ale, Sergio. All right. Let's pick another two people then. So, sorry. Hi. Sorry, sorry. Es que me está fallando el, el cuando quito el mute. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you, Ale. Okay, so you will be the woman. And for the tourists, can I please have uh, William, William Montoya? Excuse me, ma'am, can you hear me? How do you get a street Patrick Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to... Uy, eh, Fiftieth Street, uh, St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near for the Fair Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It's a fair from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much. Perfect. So, esta última oración es lo que vemos en la imagen, right? It's right behind you. Turn around. Voltea to turn around and look up. That's the Empire State Building. So, estas personas, si este es el Empire State Building, ¿dónde están? Where do you think they are? In which city? Do you know where the Empire State Building is? Yes, no, 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 yes. No. no. All right, so the Empire State is this edificio super emblemático que sale eh, de Nueva York. So that is from New York. Let me show you the real Empire State. In New York, right? It's a really great place. This is the Empire State in real life. No hay nada ahí. O sea, there's nothing there. Es un edificio de negocios. It's a business building. It's where um, hacen uh, mucha... Están todos los... Um, los stockbrokers hacen mucho... Son muchos corredores de bolsa y de la bolsa de valores and all of that son oficinas really pero es lo emblemático de New York right it is very pretty to look at all right so let's review this conversation excuse me ma'am can you help me how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral Cathedral, la catedral, right? Otra catedral super emblemática de Nueva York. That's St. Patrick's Cathedral. Es católica esa iglesia. Es una catedral, obviamente. So it is very pretty. Look at that. Oops. Look at that. It's a very nice cathedral, right? And uh, just walk up the Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? 
Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Right across, justo enfrente. Thank you, and where is the Empire State Building? It's right behind you. Just turn it around and look up, right? ¿Hay alguna palabra que no conozcamos de este reading, guys? Oops, I'm sorry. Or no? Why is that to look clear? All right, guys. Que callados andan ahora. Very quiet today. Where is far? Mm -mm -mm. Ah, far. Okay. Far, lejos. Right? Is it far from here? Está lejos de aquí? Okay. Far. Excellent. All right. Thank you for asking. Ale, ale. Oh. Yes? Y ahí donde dice, excuse me, ¿y por qué pone ma'am? Oh, ma'am. Ma'am mm -hmm. es un modismo para decir como señora, pero de manera respetuosa. Discúlpeme, señora. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse okay. me, sir. Discúlpeme, señor. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Of course. All right, guys. So, it is 9 p.m. And tomorrow, guys, no falten, because we are going to do the review of um, the midterm test. All right. Vamos a finish uh, seeing directions. We still have some questions to see. Y vamos a hacer el review del midterm exam. All right, we have five sections. Que vamos a hacer el review tomorrow. So, don't miss tomorrow's class, okay? I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you for joining today. See you. Bye. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.